Let's start with breaking news. Transit police say that they have a suspect now in custody after a woman pushed a commuter into an oncoming train at the Times Square station. And that attack was captured, as you can see right here on camera. And it's raising some serious concerns about safety on the track. So let's get right to Lisa Evers. She's live in the newsroom right now with the latest details. Lisa, what can you tell us? Well, Ryan, it is one of the worst fears of subway riders being pushed onto the tracks. It happened again yesterday at the Times Square station. And now we've just learned from transit police that they have the female suspect in custody. But a riders group says this is yet another sign more security is needed. This dis disturbing surveillance video released by the NYPD shows a woman wearing a headscarf get up quickly from the bench and rush towards the inbound train. Police say she shoved another woman into the train while it was moving. Instead of falling onto the tracks, the victim bounced off the train and fell onto the platform. A subway riders advocacy group called Passengers United is calling on Governor Hochul to bring in at least 100 state troopers and 100 National Guardsmen to make the underground system safer. But Mayor de Blasio dismissed this idea and says NYPD has increased its presence in the Times Square area, but the MTA is welcome to pitch in. Uh, we definitely welcome uh, MTA police uh, and the state uh, in the previous state administration had said more MTA police were coming and we said that's great but they need to be carefully trained and coordinated with the NYPD presence in the subways. That's definitely uh, helpful. We welcome it. I would caution against other forces coming in because the environment here is very different uh, than what state police or National Guard are trained for. Now, the NYPD releases still photos of the suspect. Concern about a rise in subway shovings has been growing all year, especially in crowded transit hubs like Times Square. A visual deterrent of more uniformed police is the best way to turn it around, says former NYPD Lieutenant Dr. Darren Porcher. When you have officers, uniformed officers, in these places, these high traffic thoroughfares, you're less likely to have crimes of this magnitude be committed. So I think that it's a deployment issue in connection with the NYPD to ensure that we have more officers on these platforms. Now, the mayor says he spoke with Commissioner Shea this morning about the incident and that the NYPD is constantly moving officers around to where they're needed the most. And that means making Times Square safe above and below ground. And it remains a top priority. That's the latest from the newsroom. Ryan, back to you. All right. Thanks so much there, Lisa.